hopefully uh, we can help you out with, with finding a present for your significant other. I love that, but I totally don't understand your rating system. <laughs> like, <laughs> it sounded like five was the best. Mm. So... Hi guys, I'm Brad with Skyline Construction and this is my better half, Tiffany. Hi. <laughs> and today we're going to be talking about our top five tool picks for stocking stuffers for this Christmas. Yeah, um, and the reason I'm here, because normally I am behind the camera during Brad's tool reviews, mm -hmm. but um, we kind of figured there's probably a lot of people like me out there who maybe have a tool lover in their lives, and of course it would be a great idea to get them a tool for Christmas and put it in the stocking, but um, I mean, for me, I, yeah, that would be a great idea for a gift for Brad, but I would have no idea what to get him. So we figured, why not put a list together and share it with everyone, because there's probably more than uh, one person out there in the same boat. So we have a list of five tools for you, and hopefully this helps you pick out a, a nice gift for your significant other. Oh, and I guess it's important to mention these are affordable, right? These are stocking stuffers. Yeah, houses. so these are all like, I don't know, 30, 40 bucks and under. So perfect for a stocking stuffer. And another thing that we should mention is when we were compiling this list of ideas for gifts, we came up with so many that we couldn't even yeah. fit it all in this one video. So we put together a whole gift guide. And if you're interested, if uh, these aren't speaking to you, or maybe you have a lot of uh, gifts on your list to buy and they're all tool related, we have a whole big, huge list our gift guide, and you can get that on our website. So that is hammerandhome.ca, and just click on the gift guide button, and it's our gift to you. Yeah, and they're all some of my favorite tools that I use every day, um, and I, you know, I couldn't work without them. So hopefully this helps. So let's get started. We're gonna start off with number five, and it is the Goal Zero flashlight. It is not so much a tool, but just really handy to have if you're in an attic or uh, working underneath you know, a cabinet or something like that. It's a super bright light. Uh, it also has a flashlight on the front um, and you charge this with a USB port. So, But why, why this flashlight over all the other flashlights out there? I just really like it because it's, it's waterproof. Um, it's super easy to charge. It lasts a long time. It has multiple settings for the torch itself. And it's just really handy to have. I have a couple of them actually. Okay. So that's number five. Number five. So next will be number four on our list. It's the Bosch GLM 15 laser measure. And why is that on your list? I like it because it's nice and small. It's compact, it's very affordable, um, and it's, it's just a real basic measure. So if you, if you need to measure some baseboard, um, this is great to have because you're not too worried about it getting scratched up in your tool pouch. Um, and it's, it's just quick and easy. There's one button, so you know measuring things is just really simple. And also good to know, we're putting links down below in the description box for all these tools here, just to make it easy on you. Yeah, so if you want to find them on Amazon in Canada or United States, all those links will be there. Number three on your so list. Number three. Number three is the Olfa uh, 18 millimeter knife. Okay, why do you like it? So I like this. I carry one of these with me everywhere, um, just when I'm working. And the reason being, I like this particular model is this sl it slides the blade out pretty quick. I don't like the knob ones, even though they, the knob style holds the blade uh, from moving around. I just like the quickness of this. And I also really like this back piece. Th this is really handy for prying things, opening paint cans, just adjusting, you know, trim, whatever you need. This is just a great knife to have. And I always carry it on me every day and I have them all over the job site. Every guy has one, so. 
So even if uh, someone already has one, you can't really go wrong. You can't go wrong. I probably have 20 of these things. <laughs> 20. So yeah, they're a really good price point. They're usually around 10 to 15 bucks or something. So you can't go wrong with these. Okay, so no one has to worry that they already have this. No, okay. no, you can always All use right. these because they break over time. Uh, it's, it's one of those items that gets used so much, they just start to fail. So yeah, you can't go wrong with this knife. Number two. Well, number two, we actually did a review on this. This is the Fleur uh, voltage tester and flashlight. Oh um, yeah, I'm always testing voltage. Yeah, I know you are. Right. Yeah. <laughs> See how hot I am, <laughs> eh? So. Um, All right. <laughs> but yeah, this thing is another tool that I keep in my truck, um, or when I'm doing renos, I just keep it in my bib, and. If you check out the review, it, it goes into detail about this, but it's essentially got an LED flashlight on it. It takes two AAA batteries and it's a voltage tester. So you can test that 110 to, to see if your plugs are working or extension cords or Christmas lights or, or anything like that. You can figure out if it's got power or not. It sounds like it would be expensive. No, this is only, I think 20 to 30 bucks again, Canadian. 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 Um, Probably less in the States. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But very handy to have and, and I think every contractor or or handyman should have something like this or, or this. All right, drum roll, okay. your top number one stocking stuffer so for number this one holiday season. It's just this little guy. This is the Leatherman Squirt. I keep this on my key ring and it's just a really handy tool to have so the reason i like it is it's got a knife on it a nail file it's got you yeah <laughs> you never know right? right um it's got a pair of pliers there's cutters inside um it's got a little screwdriver in it does it come in all different colors yes actually it <laughs> does oh, okay i have the red one and i have a blue one okay um, and I think I actually have two blue ones. I keep one in a first aid kit, but um, yeah, I've just, oh, and it has a pair of scissors in it too, which are really oh, yeah. handy. Okay. So, so I, I really like it. I think it's just, just handy to have on your key ring or like I said, in a first aid kit. Yeah, or even a sewing kit also, or, it looks yeah, like. I mean, keep it in your even purse. Even if you're not into tools, might yeah. be handy. Yeah. I think I got you one and stuck it in your purse. Oh, really? Yeah. So <laughs> I, I always found have one. it. My purse is too messy. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, Leatherman Squirt, super handy to have. It's just tiny. It's like the size of my finger. But um, yeah, there we go. I hope this helps. Yeah, yeah. And um, if you're interested in more gift ideas, not only do we have our gift guide on our website, hammerandhome.ca. It's a big red button. You can't miss it. That's our gift to you. But also, we have another video of um, gifts that are a little bigger, maybe cost a little more, good for under the tree, but be sure to check that out as well. Yeah. All right, guys. As always, keep on crushing it, and we'll catch you later. Happy holidays. Okay. Let's pick it up from there. Okay.